what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch another version of dazzled or disappointed today is going to be on the Tarte rainforest of the sea volume 2 of the skin twinkle lighting palette so I do have the volume 1 and I love it and so I was curious to see if this one was going to perform on par with volume 1 um, so yeah let's go ahead and start getting into swatches so that I can give you final thoughts price and all that good stuff so let's just go ahead and get started so the packaging comes very similar to the last one it looks like this and it's got that same kind of ocean feel sea I guess since the theme is the sea. Um, this one's got a little bit of a purple color scheme going on down here. Just for reference, this is what last year's looks like. So they do look very, very similar. You just have that little pop of color on this one. You open it up and it's got um, a mirror as usual. Most things come with the mirror. And then you've got four shades in here. So this is what they look like. If you remember, the last one only came with three shades, one of which was like a kind of like a banana powder that was the stiffest, chalkiest powder most of us had ever tried. And so um, I think there were a few people that liked it, but I certainly was not one of them. So let me give you, um, as a reference, let me show you this one. So this is that banana powder I was referring to right there. And then you've got two highlighters on either side. So you'll notice that this one, sorry, I'm not meaning to blind you, this one has the two highlighters are significantly bigger than the ones in the current palette. However, this one only came with two and this new one comes with four. So let's go ahead and swatch the new one. I will then swatch the old one so that you can see how they compare and then we'll go into final thoughts. So here are the four shades in the Volume 2 palette. You have Daylight, Skylight, Spotlight, and Candlelight. And usually Candlelight, when most brands release a Candlelight shade, it's the, usually the darkest, and that's standard for this one as well. So let's go ahead and swatch these so that you can take a look. This is what all four of them look like. They are very, very soft when you swatch them with your finger. The pigmentation is great. They're very soft. They're very buttery. They're very consistent with what you would expect from Tarte as far as highlighters. Um, I know their, their highlighters are usually pretty soft. Um, what I know best is the palette move that plastic thing is the palette from last year and they were very very soft and pigmented last year as well so that's what those shades look like right there they're very metallic they're very um they're not the kind of highlighters that if you're looking for a subtle type of highlighter this really is i mean you could try to go really light hand but because of the finish these are going to give more of that intense glow which i particularly love especially when you layer it on top of a cream highlight because that just takes it to the next level so those are those four let me swatch the other two from the other palette on my other hand so that you can see the difference right here we have the two from last palette and this is uh, sunlight and this one is moonlight incredibly buttery to the touch um, very the consistency between both palettes palettes is consistent um, they're very very similar uh, I don't feel like one has lost or that uh, I'm sorry that volume 2 has lost any kind of quality um, here is what they look like this is the volume 1 now I'm going to show you side by side here is what they look like so I mean of course you're gonna have a lot of the same I mean shade ranges. I don't think you can deviate a whole lot when it comes to highlighters. It's not like there's a whole range of colors that you can choose from, you know, to, to when you're releasing these things. Highlighters are pretty much going to be consistent in that you've got the champagnes, you've got the light golds, the deeper golds, like that candlelight shade. Um, so I do really like, let me go back to that one, I do really like that they included that because that means deeper skin tones would benefit from this palette as well. So um, you've got that darkest shade, which is candlelight right here. You've got like the next to darkest shade right here, which I think also would suit deeper skin tones. And then you've got the two lighter ones over here. So kind of something for everybody. The consistency is amazing. The um, pigmentation is awesome. So it's 
Again, very, very in line with Volume 1. If you purchase Volume 1 and you were happy with it, I really, really think you'll be happy with number two as well. Now, the price point for this was $42, which I absolutely think is a great deal. I was able to pick it up during the Tarte Friends and Family Sale, so I think it was like 30% off. Um, but still, at $42, it really is a good deal because you get four pans of product, and usually one compact of highlight um, if you buy it at Sephora or Ulta. The standard now for one compact of highlight is like $38 to $42. So for $42, you're getting four pans of products similar to the Anastasia Glow Kits, and I think that is a really, really great deal. I mean, with so much product, it's gonna take you a long time to hit pan. So this is a really, really good deal. I am dazzled by it. And you know, when they when companies release like a volume two, sometimes just the quality kind of suffers because they're riding on the heels and on the reputation and on the success of the first one. And in this, I do not think it's the case. This one performed incredibly. It's very pigmented, like I said. If you're into intense highlights, it's got that metallic feel, that metallic look. Um, and if you layer it on top of a cream highlight, just even more so, like the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, I mean, you will get an amazing, amazing glow. So this is incredibly worth it. Um, for the price point. Um, you can pick it up at Sephora, TarteCosmetics.com, and I think probably Ulta, although I have not checked that. So I hope you have found this video helpful in case you were kind of wondering whether you should pick up volume two as opposed to volume one if you already own it. Um, I know this is a very short video, but it's a quick just comparison side by side to um, just show you the swatches and kind of let you know how they perform, what the consistency is. I mean, A plus all around, great going tart. I loved it. So before I let you go, let me give you the verse of the day. And today it comes from 2 Peter 1, 3, and it says, God's divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. God is really, really good. Um, so now that we go into 2017, I hope we all are looking at it with a positive outlook. I know it's, you know, this is the opportunity to put this last year behind, look on to um, bigger and better things. And if you have not already come to know um, Jesus, I hope you do find him this year. He's, I cannot live without him. He's so amazing. His goodness really, really is incredible. Just, you can't even, no comparison. So thanks so much guys for sticking it out, watching this video for Dazzled or Disappointed. If you liked it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. This way you are um, notified of any future videos that I do post. 2017, I am certain is going to be crazy packed with new makeup releases, and I hope we can go through those together. Um, all right guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.